Hi guys, Tom here, America's favorite hoarder. Going to work the other morning, 6.45 a.m., going down the street. This was at the curb, complete with the little sign. As you can see, it says, free. Please take it, works great. Well, it may or may not. It needs to be tightened up. The wheels are wobbly. This one over here is about ready to fall off. You can see it's wobbling a lot. But I picked it up. You never know. You see that wheel is just coddly wop to hell. Needs a major tightening. I'll have to beat it into submission with this. One of my sledgehammers. Get it straightened out and then tighten it up with some washers. But like I said, seems to be all there. Even has a little bit of gas in it. Somebody probably got tired of it having to push it. Oh my lord, push more. God forbid. And I put it out on the curb and went and spent two hundred dollars for a self propelled job. Well this if it does work, will work fine for me. If it doesn't work, I may try to make it work by paying to make it work or just stripping it out for scrap scrap metal is always good I've been riding around with this for three days I haven't had a chance to get it out of my back of my truck so after the first day I went back to work the next day and on the second day coming home I ran across another neat little thing no not so much the green plastic crate all the little shelf brackets made out of metal. No, they're not brass. Just brass plated or brass colored. But there's probably a hundred of them in there. And yeah, they weigh a ton. Because they are made out of metal and it's flat steel. As you can see. Not that I'm going to scrap them. Because somebody I know, hint, hint. Already has the wall brackets, which these slide into. So, no, I'm not going to use all 100 of them, but I may use 2, 4, 6, or 8 to make 3 or 4 little shelves. Whatever I have left, I'll probably save a few and then scrap the rest. And in addition, at the same location, I found this wonderful. But yes, dusty, dirty. It's a CD rack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it holds eight, or actually, what, seven, and then a double, times two, times four, times six, times eight, times ten. Seventy on this side. And turn the sucker around. You got 70 more spots for CDs and DVDs. And I do have a lot of those. Believe it or not, they seem to add up. I probably have about 200 CDs that I bought new over the years. I haven't bought very many lately because the times are changing. Everything seems to be online. But then again, when your phone goes down or an EMP hits, not that it would be any good anyway. It's nice to have your own digital media on hand. Like CDs, DVDs. So I'll probably clean this up. There's nothing really wrong with it. Other than dirt and dust. Put it to good use. But I just wanted to share some neat little things with the brackets. The CD holder slash DVD holder and the mower. Give me something to do. The next time I have... A day off to play with it. The mower, that is. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. And remember, keep on hoarding. If it doesn't work, make it work. If you can't make it work, take it apart and make something else work. And if you can't do that, scrap it. Everything is good, until it's not. Bye-bye.